Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique and tonight we have a new flower design. Now these techniques might not be new to you but they are new to Julie's Wreath Boutique and we're going to give it a try and make this beautiful purple flower wreath. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get out our wood burner. I get these from Amazon and I will leave a link down below and if you're noticing I have a SWAT um, a wood burner holder that I get from them and I will leave that down below as well but we're gonna cut our purple mesh and we're gonna cut about a roll and a half at 10 inches each then we're gonna take and we're gonna cut about 10 pieces of our green actually no we're gonna cut five I got that wrong and then we're gonna cut it in a diagonal and you're gonna see why now this is called a kind of like a veined technique. Um, the originator of this design was a woman named or is a woman named Pam Bialis and she had a uh, YouTube video and she shared it with me years ago and I just never tried it. So Pam, thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. And we are going to give it a try. So all you do is you're going to fold over your poly burlap and you're going to use some parchment paper. And I literally just take my little iron that I have from um, Cricut. You can use a regular iron. You don't have to use the little one, but um, it's what I have on hand. So then we're going to do it like the daisy petal and we're going to put two of these together. It's pretty much that simple. I like the two petals together and you could even make a flower wreath with this vein, um, um, you know, technique. So I'm going to use this wreath frame because I love volume in my wreaths. I don't like a flat wreath, even though some flat wreaths are good between your doors. I still like a little bit of volume. So um, this is a wreath frame from Wreaths of Joy, and I have a coupon code for 10% off, and I'll leave it right here. The link will be down below in the description box. So you can get this frame. It's great. We're going to put the leaves in between the first and the second wire frame and we're just going to put five of these around our frame. Okay, so now we're gonna do a petal. You're gonna take your 10 inch by 10 inch and you're going to make sure that your um, petal is a triangle. You're gonna bring one petal forward and the other petal on the other side. We're gonna opposite it, okay? So this is gonna kind of make this folded daisy petal look. Um, the first time I ever saw this was a, by a friend of mine, uh, Dean Michael Designs, and she uh, doesn't really make wreaths anymore. She makes chocolates, and um, it's called Fat Dog Chocolates, and she's amazing, and she's gonna be shipping in the fall. I can't wait to get some, but, um, I got that idea from that petal from her. Now it's important to make sure your finished sides are on the top and bottom so that you have finished sides on the right um, side of the petal. And you're basically guys gonna do three petals in between each of the leaves. And as you can see, this, this has only four sections on the wreath frame, but we still put five petal sections for the leaves so it's just you know do what you want and you're just going to tuck that petal underneath that frame in between frame one and frame two just like you did your leaves and i wanted to try it this way you can actually make a little loop there with your zip tie if you want to um to prep your wreath for your petal so it just makes it a little bit easier but i do love this frame and the good part is that you can get poly burlap from a wreath of joy as well all sorts of colors so you don't have to do purple you can do whatever you want but make sure you check them out and use my coupon code all right <laughs>
Okay, so we're here for round two. So the first round we did between the first and the second wire wreath frame. Now we're gonna put our petals between the second and third wire wreath frame. And as you can see, I'm going through that grid part and coming up underneath my petal to attach it to the frame. And here you're gonna do as many as it takes. Now, if you want, you could do a different color. You could add a little bit of paint. If you haven't watched that painting video, you're gonna to wanna to watch it. I'll tag it right here. But listen, it's so easy to do. I'm gonna prep it by putting my zip tie in right there. And we're just gonna make a beautiful wreath. It doesn't have to be hard. Now, if you want, see, I, me I mess up here. I <laughs> I love to kind of do these voiceovers because I'm like, oh, this is where I messed up. Um, but listen, if you want to learn how you can like win one of these wreaths, because I don't sell them anymore, guys. I give them away to you guys. You're going to want to get on my email list. And my email list is used primarily to let you know when we have a new video or maybe when Julie's Crafting Boutique is open. Guys, have you joined Julie's Crafting Boutique in the month of July? There's no kit. You're going to use what you have and we're going to make a beautiful wreath. And I want you in that group. So make sure you join Julie's Crafting Boutique. It is a paid membership, but we have a lot of fun and we do two lives and we chit chat and we have a great time. So I will leave the information in the description box for that. Now this is our center that we're going to use and I always like to put the center in the middle to figure out where do I want to put the center part of these leaves or actual petals. See what I'm doing there? And you're going to keep making your same petal here. And um, I noticed that mine got a little bit wonky but that's okay i kind of liked it <laughs> i love how this turned out i did give this wreath to a friend of mine who loves purple and we're going to use our scissors but i'm also going to show you another tool that i get on amazon here in a moment and i will leave that link down below if you haven't looked at my amazon storefront i would encourage you to do so and did you know i have a walmart storefront too yeah I, I know it's like really exciting because they both have great stuff. So make sure that number one, you're on the email list and get a chance to win one of these reads. I even pay the shipping and um, check out my Amazon and my Walmart storefront. But that is the tool. That's the Mac daddy. She will cut about anything, but it's super sharp. So be very careful. I'm just saying, but we're going to just finish this out and add all of our petals. I think this came out so beautifully and I just love the richness of the purple. It just does something for me. I just, I don't know. I just feel like purple is such a great um, transition from summer to fall. I just don't feel like you can go wrong with it. And I think putting this all together is just really fabulous. And I feel like this frame is perfect for this particular wreath. Okay, so now we need to prep our center. You can also get these centers. Um, you can get them on Amazon. And I think you should be able to find these on Rees of Joy as well. Um, but listen, make sure you use the coupon code. You don't want to miss that 10% off, okay? But um, you're going to take it and put in floral foam or floral pens. And I put it in at an angle. I put a little bit of felt over the wire. And then I just take some pens that I have on hand. It doesn't matter just as long as they don't show through that hot glue and that, that foam and that felt. And it just kind of makes it nice and stable. And then we're gonna put our center on. It's pretty easy. You wanna let the set up, let the glue harden. And I do use Gorilla Glue, by the way. So let's get our wreath out and let's put her in the center. So you're just going to take the wires and you're going to run it through the center of your wreath, make sure it's nice and center and then turn it over. And you're just going to make sure that you twist the back of those wires really good. I've not done this before and then it comes untwisted. So do it and then do it a little bit more and that will be perfect. Now, before I even um, 
made this wreath, I cut out a piece of felt because this is what we're going to cover the back of our wreath frame with, okay? And this is nice. I just fold it over. I take these sharp little scissors that I've had. Guys, I've had these scissors for 25 years. I know that seems unreal, right? But they were scrapbooking scissors and you can still get them on Amazon, but they are so sharp and I love them. So I just take them and then I take my four inch zip ties and we just are going to put it on the back and secure it to the back of the frame. It's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. But if you watch this whole video, would you leave me a purple heart in the comments below? It just lets me know that you watch. And I love making reads with you guys and I would love to hear what you wanna see next here on YouTube. But make sure you're on my email list to get notifications when we go have a new video here. And make sure you get into Julie's Crafting Boutique. That is such a fun group and we have such a great time. Make Make sure you check the description box below to find out more about it on our website. But listen, we're going to do Bring Your Own Supplies July. So I hope you'll join us for Julie's Crafting Boutique. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Remember, we are here every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And listen, remember, leave me a purple heart if you watch the whole video. And we'll see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique.